Hi everyone, this is Fortnite from Super User Projectile. There is a new build of Windows in the Insider Dev and Beta channels. Let's take a look at it today. This is build 22000.160 and we are going to be taking a look at some of the changes. So first of all, there are ISOs now available, which is a big thing because you could do them from, you know, UUP dump or something like that before but now you can do them directly from Microsoft website so if we look right here and come over here there are some ISO somewhere maybe we oh here so we can choose these to so dev or beta and we choose the build so I think that will be very nice and then we also have in the out of box experience an option to name your PC. The thing is I saw this before this build like several weeks ago so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. And then there is a new clock app so it has focus sessions and stuff like So if we go to the blog post we can see it has focus sessions and everything like that. And then there are also you know estimates on how long a restart will take. Well. The only thing I've ever seen is five minutes, but also um, they are removing that for PCs with hard drives. So only if you have an SSD will it do that. So, you know, hard drives might vary in speed and stuff like that. And so it might, you know, it, it'll take way longer to restart anyway. So for now, we don't have them for hard drives. And then there is only one fix. And so basically the location and use icon was showing in the taskbar sometimes even though the usage was blocked by your preferences. So say some app you wanted to use your location like maps and you blocked that so it couldn't use it, it would still say it's using it. So that is now fixed. And let's take a look at some apps right here because you know we have some apps from last time that I never got a chance to show you and then we have the new clock app if I can even get that. So this is my main PC and as we can see here we have our new snipping tool and our new calculator. So snipping tool and snipping sketch have both been included in Windows but they discontinued snip and sketch and then brought some of those features over to snipping tool. So for example, Windows Shift S was snip and sketch before, but now it is snipping tool and other things like that. And so we have this UI redesign and we also have a dark mode in it. And then calculator is not, not much has changed, but we do have like these rounded buttons. But most importantly, it has been rewritten in C sharp. So it is, you know, now, I don't know what it was before, but it's easier for developers to do something. I'm not exactly sure the details on that, but then we have like graphing and stuff like that. It all works very nicely. And so I haven't been able to get the mail and calendar and then the clock one just came out. So I haven't been able to do that yet, but maybe I will show you that next week. So that is about it for this video and if you enjoyed it make sure to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe and until next time it's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project Dial.